let us discuss the potential difference across a battery terminals and a circuit in various situations. Let's discuss it in three cases. Case one is a situation when no current flows through the battery. In this situation, say if we are given with a battery, a real battery in which it's the EMF E and an internal resistance R is connected in series. And externally, we are having the access to its terminal. Always remember, in a real battery, we can never detach its internal resistance from the battery EMF. It is always taken. Now, in this situation, if no current is flowing through the battery, we can state the potential at terminal and A is V A, and if at B it is V B. We can say there will not be any potential drop in this resistance because current flowing through it is zero. So we can directly write in the situation V A minus V B the potential difference across the battery terminals will be equal to its E M F. That is the open circuit uh, terminal voltage. Now we consider a case two in which we say one a current I is supplied by the battery. If battery supplies a current, the situation would be like this. If we consider the same real battery over here, this terminal A, this terminal B, this is the EMF E of the battery and R is the internal resistance. And in a circuit, if the battery is supplying the current, it will supply the current from its positive terminal and from the negative terminal, the current goes in. In this situation, we can see if a potential at terminal A is VA and at terminal B is VB. So we can see the current is flowing from terminal B into the resistance. So we can say if we consider an imaginary point, an imaginary point between the EMF and the resistance, the internal resistance of battery, and we can say at this point the potential will be I R less than the potential at terminal N B. So we can write in the situation F at potential B, potential is V B. Then potential at the middle terminal after passing through the resistance R can be written as minus I R, and at the other end it will be E volt higher because this is the positive terminal. This can be written as plus E is equals to the potential at terminal and A, which is V A. So in this situation you can see the potential difference across battery terminals V A minus V B. We can see it is given as E minus I R. So we can always state. Whenever the battery supplies a current, its terminal potential difference is always less than the EMF of the battery. And similarly, we can discuss about the third case when we state when a current I is supplied into the battery terminals or into the battery, this is a situation where we say an external voltage source which is higher than that of battery supplying the current into it. And here the situation would be like this, when these are terminals A and B, this is the EMF E internal resistances R. And in this situation externally a current I is supplied into the battery terminals, that means in this situation from the positive side of the battery current is getting into the battery. So here if we just see potential at terminal and A is V and that at point B is V B, then we can write if potential here is V A potential right after the EMF will be E volt less than this we can write it minus E. And again after this resistance R we can see in the direction of current potential decreases. So it will be written as minus I R which is equals to the potential at terminal and B which is V B. So here you can see that potential difference across battery terminals V A minus V B we can write as E plus I R, which is another important thing to be kept in mind that if a current is supplied into the battery, in that situation the terminal potential difference of the battery is more than the battery EMF. Here it is V A minus V B is more than the EMF of battery. So all these three cases you are going to see soon when you will study about the circuit analysis 
of uh, various circuit components 